Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. Today I'm at Universal City Walk. We're going to the movies. I'm gonna show you all about the cinema down here at Universal. Come on in, check it out. So guys, here we are at the Cinemark Theater here at Universal City Walk. Why? Because it's time to go to the movies. We haven't been to the movies in so long. I'm so excited. Guess what we're gonna go see. All right, you get one guess what movie we're going to see. Here's your clue. I'm going around in a circle here. Of course, yes, we're going to see the Super Mario Brothers movie. So I figured, hey, why not vlog it? Uh, vlog the cinema, show you all around the cinema. Uh, and then we're gonna give you a review of the movie. We're gonna let you know exactly how good the movie, the Super Mario Brothers movie is. Because why? who doesn't like Super Mario Brothers? I used to play that game way back when I was a kid, uh, back in the 80s when it came out. Jake loves Super Mario, Roberta loves it. We all play together sometimes at home. Can't wait. Jake, come on over here for a minute, man. Of course, we got Jake. It was his idea, and I'm glad you mentioned it, Jake. Who's your favorite Mario character from the from the game, Jake? What do you like? I, uh, I can tell you mine. Bowser. Bowser's mine. You like Mario? You like Luigi? Who do you like? Luigi. Luigi. All right, there we go. I just want to tell you, I've been to this theater several times. I've never seen a line. There's never been a line here once for me to go in. Maybe a couple people, but you think everybody's going to see... Oh, look, Donkey Kong. Awesome. You know what, though? Mario, this movie has some pretty good actors in it. I know Jack Black is Bowser. Mario, Chris, uh, what's his name? Chris Pratt, right? From Guardians. So, amongst some other awesome uh, voice characters in this. So, I cannot wait to get inside and watch the movie. But before we go in, or as we go in, I'll give you some information about the theater. I think I see the problem with the long line. You see, there's all these booths, right? All these booths, none of them are open. They have one open. There's just one employee out here. So I guess they must be short staffed or else they would definitely have at least a couple of these open because the line is just getting longer and longer. Everybody wants to see Mario. But what's cool guys, before we get inside, while we have some time, Robert and Jake's holding my spot in line. This theater, you can go online before you come uh, and reserve seats, which we normally would do at any other theater, but if you're a pass holder, you get a discount. Now, it's supposed to be a discount after six o'clock. It's almost six. We're gonna see about what time we'll go, but it does say $3 off for pass holders after six. So we're all pass holders. Uh, there's several different theaters. You have 3D, you have XD, and you have kind of a standard, at least for this particular Mario movie. So the prices, of course, 3D is the most. XD will be uh, right in the middle tier, and then the standard, I think after six o'clock, it's like $10.95, which you think about all everything going up and how expensive things got. Movies, have, at least for me, it's been around eleven dollars for quite a few years so i don't think it's that bad of a deal now we're gonna find out give you some information if you're a pass holder on exactly how that discount works but we gotta wait for that line and then we'll get inside i'll show you around a little bit show you some of the concessions i'll show you what the theater looks like so we got our tickets guys we're going to mario and we uh i just found out the discount is any time of the day it's three dollars off a ticket so Jake didn't want to go to the 3D, so we just got a regular standard theater ticket, and it only cost us $8. So all, all of us are going to go to movies for under 25 bucks. You can't beat that. So I'm inside the theater. I just kind of want to show you guys around a little bit in the theater uh, before we go in. So you'll see what they have here. The prices aren't bad. I was just looking. So guys, you can see over here, uh, you know, of course, popcorn. Uh, they have... Ices. They even have adult beverage back here, guys. They have like uh, wine coolers. They have cans of beers. And I think they have a bar back there I'm going to show you. But guys, the prices are not bad. Roberta and Jake, I'm impressed with the prices here. Large. Roberta says no. But Don't complain. a huge thing of popcorn is only $7.95. Except bottled water is $5. So it seems like, like movies haven't gone up that much. I don't know. So, don't complain, are they gonna go up? Don't complain, don't complain. So guys, I'll just show you some of the things they have. 
they have fries, they have chicken wings. <laughs> These prices are not bad, guys. I'm telling you, for movie theater, price is not bad. So here's kind of a concession area. Um, and I'm just gonna show you around. They have like these uh, freestyle machines and they have an icy machine so you can come up, you get your refills. Really cool. And let's see, can you use your souvenir cups? Oh, you cannot, are not valid on these machines. Okay, so there you have it. You cannot use your universal refillable cup in a the theater. Oh, look, they have a little cafe down there. We'll go down there and check that out in a minute. But you can kind of get an idea. There's a couple levels to the theater. It's nice in here. Uh, I, this is the busiest I ever saw it out front, but inside walking around, not very busy as you can see. Plenty of, plenty of space. So, here you have it. Let's go down. I'm going to go down there, though, and show you guys down there. Look at what Jake's got, guys. I know it's kind of dark in here. Man, it is... Well, it's a movie theater, but let me hold it up here, Jake, away from you. Blankets. They sell blankets, guys. The movie theater selling blankets at 20 bucks. if you're interested. Some right there. Check it out. So, yeah, you can get the bottle drinks as well. They do have this awesome bar as well here. Look, fully stocked bar at the movie theater so yeah it's got all your favorite spirits back there right so you can get yourself a nice adult beverage before you go into the movie and they even got some draft beers oh here's a look at the different beers and the wines and even draft beers too so it's 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 pretty decent theater i mean it's yeah, it's it's a bit a little kind of outdated a bit, but uh, You know it is what it is. I, I definitely like it better than the AMC at Disney Springs, Roberta Yes, I mean it's a bit outdated in here, but it's not bad. No, it's clean. It's nice and accessibility guys if you need ramp assistance To get down to the bottom level. There you go. You have it and I'm sure they have an escalator, but I would imagine if they have this ramp, there must be an elevator. I'm assuming there is. So, there's a little tour around, guys. We're gonna head to the movie. I figured it was a great chance to vlog the theater for you guys here at Universal. Oh, also, there is an app. It's Cinemark. Um, you can collect points through the app. And also, some more information. If you are not a pass holder, some of the passes I know for pass holder, you can park free at Universal. You don't have to pay to park in the garage. If you're coming just for a movie and after six you can park free most of the time. Now Halloween, Holly, 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 Halloween Horror Nights you cannot park free after six on those special nights that they have that and some other events. Yeah. But Roberta in general it's pretty cool because if you wanted to come here for a movie during yeah. the day yeah. the prices for this theater are not bad. No. Even it's without yeah. the matinees and stuff you can go online and check. So on the app, you can go on and reserve your seats. Yeah. Um, and you also, on the yeah. app, collect points. Yeah. But I was talking about parking. I got distracted. But before, before 6 o'clock, yes. If you come to the theater, they will validate the parking. You need two tickets. Two tickets before 6, they will refund your parking. Yeah, validate. That's what I mean. Almost yeah. kind of like, you could go to a matinee for about what you park, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you could. So you could park, come up, use the credit, and go to yeah. the movie. And yeah. then you can go check out other stuff. So yeah. that is pretty cool to know. Yeah. But yes, on the app, I'm all over the place, guys, because it comes in my mind, and I want to make sure I tell you guys. So on the app, you can collect different points. Friends from Meddling World there. So you can collect points, and you can use them towards, like, purchases in the theater. So that's an also cool, a cool thing. So anyway, I think that kind of wraps up everything about the theater. Now it's time to go watch Mario. Guys, of course, I can't turn my... Uh, camera on while the movie's going on maybe before the movie when i go in this is the the standard theater so it's not xd as i was saying in the beginning or 3d this is going to be the lowest tier uh of theater that you can get in and watch a movie that's kind of what we wanted to do anyway jake doesn't like the 3d and the xd was not until like a couple hours from now so we got the standard uh theater Let's go check it out. I'll show you a little bit of the theater before the movie starts, and then I'll review all the whole Mario movie for you when it's done. I'll try not to give too many spoilers. I know it's a little dark, but I just kind of okay, wanted to yeah. show you. We'll, we'll use Jake as an example. Here's the seating. What kind of animal 
And you got your nice recliner. Eight bucks with our discount. And just to kind of show you around, there's a screen there. So, a lot of seating. Screen is, I mean, for eight dollars, there's no complaints here at all. So this is really nice. And a little dark, but it kind of goes up. There's four rows here, all the way across. And then there you have it. So we're gonna go ahead, get ready. We're gonna watch the Mario movie, and then give you a full review of it. We're having a lot of fun here at the theater. So what'd you think, guys? Super Mario Brothers movie. It's really good. Jake, you liked it, yeah? Yeah. Jake enjoyed, Roberta? It was really cool. I think they did an amazing job. It's great. I mean, if you are a fan of Nintendo, right? If yeah. you're a fan of the, the games. Oh, it's got kind of all the games kind of... I said no spoilers, but I won't give it away, but if you like Mario Kart, if you like Mario Brothers game, the old school, even some of the other different parts of Mario Brothers, you're gonna like the movie, the characters. Yes. It gives you a really, uh, it kind of brings those characters to life a little bit more than just in the game. And plus, the way they did it, the way they, they did an amazing job. It was, a, it was amazing. Yeah, it because... Was really cool. It, you're right. And it kept you entertained all the way through. Yeah, the movie was good. It was really cool. And what I liked is the, the characters, they kind of made them like how they are, right? Yeah. How they are as actors. Yeah. Uh, I, I love Bowser. Jack Black was great. Okay. Guys, definitely a uh, good movie. Worth seeing. And that theater, by the way, you saw where we were, the seats for $8. There's no way you're going to beat that deal if you have a pass. So guys, thank you so much for watching Menling World. I'm gonna say Super Mario Brothers movie, definitely worth going to see if you're a fan of the games and Nintendo. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our Patreons. Please take a moment and subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. And last but not least, see.